Thrust to weight ratio is a dimensionless ratio of thrust to weight of a rocket, jet engine, propeller engine, or a vehicle propelled by such an engine that indicates the performance of the engine or vehicle. The instantaneous thrust to weight ratio of a vehicle varies continually during operation due to progressive consumption of fuel or propellant and in some cases a gravity gradient. The thrust to weight ratio based on initial thrust and weight is often published and used as a figure of merit for quantitative comparison of a vehicle's initial performance. Topic. Calculation The thrust to weight ratio can be calculated by dividing the thrust in SI units in newtons by the weight in newtons of the engine or vehicle and is a dimensionless quantity. Note that the thrust can also be measured in pound force (LBF) provided the weight is measured in pounds (pound). The division of these two values still gives the numerically correct thrust to weight ratio. For valid comparison of the initial thrust to weight ratio of two or more engines or vehicles, thrust must be measured under controlled conditions. Topic: Aircraft. The thrust to weight ratio and wing loading are the two most important parameters in determining the performance of an aircraft. For example, the thrust to weight ratio of a combat aircraft is a good indicator of the maneuverability of the aircraft. The thrust to weight ratio varies continually during a flight. Thrust varies with throttle setting, airspeed, altitude and air temperature. Weight varies with fuel burn and payload changes. For aircraft, the quoted thrust to weight ratio is often the maximum static thrust at sea level divided by the maximum takeoff weight. In cruising flight, the thrust to weight ratio of an aircraft is the inverse of the lift to drag ratio because thrust is the opposite of drag, and weight is the opposite of lift. A plane can take off even if the thrust is less than its weight. If the lift to drag ratio is greater than 1, the thrust to weight ratio can be less than 1, i.e., less thrust is needed to lift the plane off the ground than the weight of the plane. T W C R U I S E equals D L C R U I S E equals one L D C R U I S E Display style left frac T W right underscore cruise equals frac D L underscore cruise equals frac one frac L D underscore cruise. Topic Propeller driven aircraft. For propeller driven aircraft, the thrust to weight ratio can be calculated as follows. T W equals five hundred and fifty Ada P V H P W Display style frac T W equals left frac five hundred and fifty Ada underscore P V right left frac H P W right where Ada P Display style Ada underscore P is propulsive efficiency typically 0.8 H P display style H P is the engine's shaft horsepower and V display style V is true airspeed in feet per second. Topic rockets. The thrust to weight ratio of a rocket or rocket propelled vehicle is an indicator of its acceleration expressed in multiples of gravitational acceleration g. Rockets and rocket propelled vehicles operate in a wide range of gravitational environments including the weightless environment. The thrust to weight ratio is usually calculated from initial gross weight at sea level on earth and is sometimes called thrust to earth weight ratio. The thrust to earth weight ratio of a rocket or rocket propelled vehicle is an indicator of its acceleration expressed in multiples of Earth's gravitational acceleration, g0. The thrust to weight ratio for a rocket varies as the propellant is burned. If the thrust is constant, then the maximum ratio, maximum acceleration of the vehicle is achieved just before the propellant is fully consumed. Each rocket has a characteristic thrust to weight curve or acceleration curve, not just a scalar quantity. 
The thrust-to-weight ratio of an engine exceeds that of the whole launch vehicle but is nonetheless useful because it determines the maximum acceleration that any vehicle using that engine could theoretically achieve with minimum propellant and structure attached. For a takeoff from the surface of the Earth using thrust and no aerodynamic lift, the thrust-to-weight ratio for the whole vehicle must be more than one. In general, the thrust-to-weight ratio is numerically equal to the g-force that the vehicle can generate. Takeoff can occur when the vehicle's g-force exceeds local gravity expressed as a multiple of g0. The thrust-to-weight ratio of rockets typically greatly exceeds that of airbreathing jet engines because the comparatively far greater density of rocket fuel eliminates the need for much engineering materials to pressurize it. Many factors affect a thrust-to-weight ratio. The instantaneous value typically varies over the flight with the variations of thrust due to speed and altitude along with the weight due to the remaining propellant and payload mass. The main factors include freestream air temperature, pressure, density, and composition. Depending on the engine or vehicle under consideration, the actual performance will often be affected by buoyancy and local gravitational field strength. Topic: <laughs> Examples <laughs> 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 The Russian-made Rode 180 rocket engine, which powers Lockheed Martin's Atlas V, produces 3820 kilonewtons of sea level thrust and has a dry mass of 5307 kg. Using the Earth's surface gravitational field strength of 9.807 meters per square second, the sea level thrust to weight ratio is computed as follows: 1 kN. Topic: n 1000 kilograms meter per square second t w equals 3 820 k n 5 307 k g 9.807 m s 2 equals 0.07340 k n n equals 73.40 n n equals 73.40 Display style frac T W equals frac three thousand eight hundred and twenty Mathram knots five thousand three hundred and seven Mathram kilogram nine point eight zero seven Mathram meter per second carat two equals zero point zero seven three four zero frac Mathram knots Mathram N equals seventy three point four zero frac Mathram N Mathram N equals seventy three forty Topic Aircraft Topic: Jet and rocket engines. Topic: Fighter aircraft fuel density used in calculations: 0.803 kg. L the number inside brackets is the number of engines. For the metric table, the T W ratio is calculated by dividing the thrust by the product of the full fuel aircraft weight and the acceleration of gravity. Engines powering F-15K are the Pratt and Whitney engines. MiG 29K's empty weight is an estimate. JF-17's engine rating is of road 93. JF-17 if mated with its engine WS-13, and if that engine gets its promised 18,969 pounds then the T-W ratio becomes 1.10 J-10's empty weight and fueled weight are estimates. J-10's engine rating is of AL-31FN. J-10 if mated with its engine WS-10A, and if that engine gets its promised 132 kN 29,674 lbf, then the T-W ratio becomes 1.08. See also Power-to-weight ratio Factor of safety <laughs>